Good morning, my name is Jasper Ravenstein. I'm the European Sales Manager for Edison Systems Engineering and I'm going to present to you today our latest development, the S-Series Line Array Systems. Now the S-Series, they come as a package, complete with amplifier, amplifier racks, distribution panels for audio and uh, IC distribution. The system itself, the loudspeakers come with a dedicated designed subwoofer, the S119, the S10 tops, rigging frames, coffers, dollies. We deliver it as a complete package. Now, the awards that we look for and the specific developments and innovations are in the top cabinets. This is the S10 cabinet. And what you see already is a unique feature where Adamson is basically historically um, very, very good at, and that's Kevlar driver technology. The subwoofer also has a Kevlar driver. It's a 19-inch Kevlar driver. And what you see in the S10 are two 10-inch Kevlar drivers. I mean, if you can compare Kevlar to paper, the stiffness to mass ratio is superior compared to paper. Uh, the Kevlar material is much stronger than paper. It's stiffer, it's lighter. So for audio reproduction and weather resistance, again, it's superior compared to paper. Now, the arrangement in the cabinet is done because we implement a technology um, that is actually meant to avoid com filtering or lobing on the side of the array. We do two things there. There is a wide overlap between, between the high frequency element, a four inch dome titanium driver, and the two inches. And that wide overlap around the crossover frequency is one full octave. We need that to avoid in the horizontal plane lobing and com filtering. So actually it makes the polar response of the cabinet much better. What you also see, I mean it's a two-way design, a two-way line array system, and we produce that to being able to be very efficient with amplifiers. So we can run eight cabinets from only one PLM Plus amplifier from LabGruppen. So the two-way design and the 10 inches are there, they are recessed behind the waveguide. And why is that done? Because the frequencies that are amplified by these drivers, if we just put them front loaded, there would be lobing and com filtering in the horizontal plane. So we need to be able to put these drivers and the acoustic center of these drivers closer together. We did that actually to recess them. And if we look at the waveguide and we look at it from the top of it, there's actually a very thin part of the waveguide. And we use that just to squeeze in the drivers. So the position of these drivers together make us able to avoid side lobbing at the crossover frequency. What you also can see is that they're actually mounted outwards. If you take stand the standard pattern for the frequencies that this driver uses, it is a cardioid pattern. And if you mount them straight, or even worse, you bend them inwards, the both cardioids are really creating a lot of com filtering in front of the system. We, want, we don't want to have that. So we mounted them outwards, and now if we take the cardioid pattern of the system, it's a much smoother, equal coverage in the complete range than we would have if we put them straight, or even worse, mounted them inwards. To avoid reflections on the side of the cabinets because of the outward position, we made holes in the sides of the S10. So audio really goes out of the system. And actually what we end up with is a 110 degree horizontal splay with a 10 degree vertical splay. Now the other big benefit of the system and the other big innovation is the slight locking rigging system. The system actually arrives from transportation in stacks of four. And the engineer should configure, pre-configure the complete installation before it is flown. So actually, what he needs to do he just needs to take out the blue dotted pins if it is flown. The red dotted pins can stay in. They're only going to be taken out when we 
take the systems apart, for example, for CranStack support. We call this a slide locking system. So there is a slider, a lever, and there is nine different positions. Let's say, for example, that the display between those two cabinets is position four. And the display between these cabinets is actually position five. The only thing the engineer has to do is to lift up the lever to position four. The corresponding color is green, so he needs to pin it in the green hole. That's it. No lifting, very safe, very easy, very fast. Position five, the same thing. The engineer just lifts it up to position five, mounts it, and that's what he does. No hands in between. If it's pre-configured with cable, now we pick it up. So what the system actually does is just lift it to the right position. That's it. If there's a steep angle and there's a chance of compression between the cabinets, we have a locking pin here. What we just do is turn the locking pin, make it connect, and it doesn't fall down anymore. All right? This system makes it very easy, very fast, and very safe to set it up. And also with taking it down, you can wheel it away within a few minutes after you took it down. If you want to have more information about the S10 system and you want to try it, please look at the website and I'm open to talk to you about planning a demo or a meeting. Feel free to do so. Thank you very much.